Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can prevent changes to your worksheets and workbooks in Excel. If worksheet protection is turned on, you cannot change any information in cells that are locked. This is a nice feature, but it renders the worksheet useless because all cells within a worksheet are locked by default. Therefore, before you protect your worksheets, you must first unlock the cells where you know that data entry will need to occur. To unlock worksheet cells, select the cells that you know people will need to change within the worksheet that you want to protect. Then click the Format Cells button that appears in the lower right corner of the Font Button group on the Home tab of the ribbon to open the Format Cells dialog box. In the Format Cells dialog box, click the Protection tab and then click the checkbox in front of the word Locked to remove the check from the box and deselect the locking of those cells. Then click OK to close the Format Cells dialog box. If using Excel 2013 through 2010, you can also click the Format button that appears within the Cells button group on the Home tab within the ribbon. And then you can choose the Lock Cell command from the drop down menu to unlock selected cells. That's simply an alternate way to do it in those particular versions. Now you are ready to apply worksheet protection. Alternately, you have a tool that allows you to create specified ranges of cells into which users can perform data entry within a protected worksheet if they have the password that you specify. If there are ranges of cells that you want some users to access, but not most general users, then you can specify an editable range of cells in the worksheet and then password protect it. Then people who wish to perform data entry within that range, once worksheet protection has been applied, will be prompted to enter the password to make the selected cell range editable. This varies from the unlocking of the worksheet cells in that these cells will be read-only for users who lack the password to edit them, while unlocking a cell makes it editable by all users. To apply selective cell access, select a range of cells in the worksheet to which you wish to allow selective access. Then click the Allow Users to Edit Ranges button that appears in the Changes button group on the Review tab within the ribbon. This will launch the Allow Users to Edit Ranges dialog box. Here you click the New button at the right side of the dialog box to launch the New Range dialog box. In this dialog box, enter a name for the cell range into the Title text box. The cells that you selected will be shown in the Refers to Cells text box. Then in the Range Password text box, type the password that you want to use to allow users to edit this range. Then click the OK button. You will need to retype the password again in the next dialog box and then click OK again to confirm the password. Like all passwords, this needs to be written down in a secure location because if you forget it, you will not be able to selectively modify the range while worksheet protection is enforced. You'll now see the defined range within the Allow Users to Edit Ranges dialog box. Note that you can also select a range once you have created it and click the Modify button at the right to change the cell range defined by the title, the title itself, or the password used for editing access within the Modify Range dialog box that appears. You can also select a range to delete within the Allow Users to Edit Ranges dialog box and then click the Delete button at the right side of the Allow Users to Edit Ranges dialog box to delete the definition of the editable range if it's no longer needed. When you're finished, simply click the OK button to apply it. Like what you see? 
pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.